So before we get into our uh, commentary about uh, Fantasmic, I was telling them that when I came down here to go to the restroom and all the walls are down over here. The scrims are still up on Hungry Bear, but all the walls are down. And you can see the canoes, you can see everything down here. Oh, it's so lovely. So we're going to take a stroll down here because we're probably not going to, you probably didn't get a Star Wars Land Report this week of, from, the, from Mickey and Friends because we just didn't have time to get up there. And then this so this will have to suffice. The spider, and then here's the entrance and where the wheelchair went is. Oh, okay. Look at right. look at the garden spider. Look at that. That's a crazy web right there. Wow. Isn't that amazing? That didn't take long. Let's walk down this path here a little bit. Yeah. I am so delirious. Bubbles. <laughs> see, yeah, all these walls are gone now. And now it's a pretty, it's a pretty wide walkway once you'll see once. The yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, because before the walls were out to about here. Yeah. But like I said, there's like an additional five, five meters. Down. Now all that's left is to be able to go down those steps. Two weeks. So nice. Two weeks. Well, no, we won't be able to go down those steps, will we? Well, we should, I think they should, they should reasonably, they'll push it again all the way to the tunnel is my hope. Push wow. the wall back to the tunnel. Look at that's the river. That's the river right there. Look, do you think they're having a party? Yeah, cast members are probably successful first night. Post, yeah, exactly. post, like, like a little rap post party, party in the in the in the, in the break room. Uh -huh. You guys, you just did it. Cookies. Their first two official performances. Hey, they were great. For the very first, the very first words I heard about Fantasmic, the new Fantasmic, early, early on, was that they were having they were having problems in integrating Aladdin and pirates. Right, and that. They weren't sure if it was going to be good or not. And then the later words I heard from cast members was that it was really good. Uh, and that everything was, you know, it was a really good show. And Disney, specifically, felt very proud of the show. You could tell that they were, they were supporting it. They, you know, it's like, it's like when you hear about a, a movie theater, you know, backing a film, like with 3D or something like yeah. that, being that they have faith in it, that, that it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. Yeah. Or the, the marketing campaign behind it is strong because they have They're faith not, in the, it. The review, the review of Fargo is on like the day it comes out. Right. The way the reviews come out well ahead of time. It's like, no, we want people to know what. Early word from Disney with yeah. three shows a night yeah, was that this is a good show. Yeah. I agree. Yes. That was fantastic. You mean fantastic. That was fantastical yeah. fantastic. I like it. Um, there was no, I mean, you, you, you said you had just a couple minor. Only a couple minor things I would tweak. I wish they would use a different song for Pirates. They right. That's, like, that's the same song they use every time. They but it's still good songs. with what they have. It's good. I just would prefer to like the music from that actual ghost yeah. scene in the first movie. Because that's great. They have great music they never yep. use. They never work well. And I felt the transition from the whole new world to the other princes wasn't quite as smooth, just the way right. it's written. But otherwise, maybe just like, I think audio levels need to get tweaked some more. Because there's sometimes where it's hard to tell. That's how good the show is. That I don't even I, I don't even know what you're talking about for two of those things. <laughs> but, but that's those, those, those are very minor things. Like that show. Would, otherwise, the show flows well. It flows. The the, the, the pace was good. Yeah. The tone was well. different. The pace was different. Uh, the it was more. The, yeah, it was it was a quicker pace show. The the, the the pirate scene on on the Columbia was fantastic. Yeah. Oh my god. The, that the ghost phenomenal. skeleton projection seemed to be working. What they did well. to the Columbia. That's the Columbia that's driving know, by there. Like a ghost ship. It's right? Like that's the freaking blowing. Columbia. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't believe that. Uh, I, I so I was very impressed with the pirate scene. I was very impressed actually with some of the transitions. The transition what? from Lion King, Lion King to, to the elephants. Dumbo. Well, to Jungle Book and then to the Right. That, but yeah. That, that yeah. Whole it was great. Yeah. That was and uh, we still got our packeter. Like, yeah, yeah. But I just, right. Because yeah. uh, that's such a fun, like, sequence. There's such a weird, like, psychedelic rock scene that you don't expect. Yeah, the yeah they kind of like mixed a, the Lion King with the, with the Jungle Book made there. Fantastic, so interesting. Just so different from any other show, both in terms of yeah. music, toys, and tone. Yeah. That, that was one of the things I was worried about was we're going to lose things like, you know, the weird psychedelic rock and the trumpets and the, you know, the jungle stuff. Mm -hmm. But to that point, that this is a there. great example of why we should have more faith. You know, Disney, yeah. like like they'll they'll take it when, when they when they when they put their effort into it they'll they, they they've got our backs on that kind of stuff. They, I think they I think they held it up. Yep. I really do. Those were my two favorite: the Lion King, Jungle Book, and Dumbo. The music. Yeah. Was just so I could, high. Could, just remember, you were like, people were like, "Oh, this different," but yes, you know, like yeah, you exactly, could feel it throughout it was, the crowd. It was the same but different, but yeah. something that we all really enjoyed. Yeah, yeah. My only critique was uh, the genie clips. The way they cut and paste, almost, it, yeah. it, it felt a little rushed to me. Speaking but, of which, oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, but just in general, I, I loved how they always bring Genie back. At first, I thought they kind of barfed out the, the projections a little bit too much. 
Yeah, with the genie. Uh, well, just in general, because oh. that's their thing right now. Is they're projecting, they're doing a lot of projection stuff in all their attractions but I think for all the their shows. Fantastic's always done well is bouncing, going back and forth between projections and actual physical things. But and that's one of the things the yeah. Hollywood Studios kind of suffers for is they spend too much time on a projection scene. Like, yeah. Like you're kind of waiting our cake. Can we get back to something real? Right, right. Like it just spends that little bit too long in Hollywood Studios, which is why we still have the best Fantastic. Yep. And this was, but I, I, uh, the, I, I feel like. Once that moment passed for me when I thought they were going to do that, that it was going to be too projection heavy, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed all the all the projections that they yeah. put on the on the on the uh, uh, yeah, on, on the uh, island. On the island, yeah. like and our, and our that had a good, very good balance of not yeah. the projections not lasting too long and getting something yeah. real, and then going back and forth. Like that, like the scene again, back to Lion King. When they when they put the silhouette of Mickey on the Lion King oh, sunset, that Mickey yeah. was that was Mickey, yeah. yeah. Mickey was yeah. Mickey has a much yeah. greater presence. He does, the yes. He's he's it's in the show like, like four Mickey, or five times. It's like yeah. almost like Mickey's magical map. Like Mickey's in almost in every scene yeah. with a transition, yeah. and he was in every new. Scene. Did they now? Just that just reminding me something. Did they slide Murphy to the left a little bit? I, I feel like so. he was he's, further to the middle seen, of the stage. Pretty, see, see? Oh, I mean, I thought he was always pretty centered. Who? Oh, okay, Murphy. But then again, the dragon. dragon. He's nicknamed Murphy because when they were because they were building him everything possible that could go wrong went wrong. Murphy's law. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. so it's a female yeah. dragon, it's Maleficent. Well, yeah, it's Maleficent, yeah. but so his nickname is Murphy. Because that's in, in the development and initial uh, well, building Murphy testing, looked everything absolutely went wrong. Wonderful. Murphy was good. Um, I just, I could have sworn he felt like well, he was closer to Mickey. Well, maybe that's some of that work they're doing at the pit for. That's what I'm thinking. Hello, guys. I, maybe that's what some of that pit work was, was adjusting it over a little bit. Yeah, it wasn't a lot. Yeah. It just the, felt a little bit different. They also had to install the carpet right. I the, love the What did you think yeah. of the carpet ride? I was barely there. The, the fog is a little too heavy, so you can't see it until like the very end. Well, maybe so. the fog has to be heavy, otherwise you could see the claw, yeah. the arm, you know, yeah, holding the damn thing up. But for, for that, some of that and might, be able, might be able to tweak some of that. Hey. Hello. Hi. Hi. But they might be able to tweak some of that over time to make it the fog level yeah. right, so they hover like just the below without scene? going to. I would have yeah. liked to have seen that oh, scene play out fine. a little bit longer. Uh, the thing is that because they've had so much stuff, they can't let anything run too long. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Because the, the as is, they've had to they had to trim a couple other bits my, of dialogue and scenes down. To, yeah. Of, like, well, because the the, the, the boats, the the princess boats, were already on their way in when they started yeah. that scene. Probably so I was watching that and I'm like, oh my god, how long is this thing going to be? It was and barely out there. Then they get to the Tangled section and that this, it's, it's a great sequence, but it's longer than you expect. The Tangled, like, I got to tell you, I don't know what it is about the choreography of the Tangled bit was great. I don't know what, it, was dance. it worked for me. They were doing like ballet. Well, Beautiful. plus there was, a, there was a lot more emoting from Flynn. I don't know if you noticed well, that. That. That, was a, I, I, that was the first time. It was never Rapunzel nor. No, no, right, before, right, exactly. Last time yeah. that was snow. That would have been oh, snow. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I'm glad. But see, the, but the snow scene was very stoic and plain, oh, kind yeah, of. It was, like a wall. It was just but, them yeah, waltzing. But it just yeah. continued to float before it just fit with the other two princesses. Right. right. He lifts that yes. man oh, does but, with the woman is beautiful. When he, what the move that I was into was he, when he picks her up and holds her from underneath beautiful. her backside. And then she has her that was again. very Flynn and Rapunzel. You know, that's what I mean. It was like the way that they. The way they yeah. did that bit was yeah. in character. It was in story. It was in theme, and I thought it was great. And then when Flynn wasn't dancing with her, he was kind of doing this bashful sort of like, oh my god, I love yeah, the little neck move with the hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do that sometimes. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> it means that you're like, oh my gosh, yeah. like you're bashful. It was, you know? yeah, it was great. It was great. Love that person. I really that that worked for me. The so I'm I'm um, I'll miss. The end. I guess. <laughs> I'll, uh, I miss snow. I, I love the ending because, like, you know, the illusion tricks. Didn't, you know, didn't I, change a thing there, right? Well, uh, yeah, some no, it was some of the, some some of the pop. And well, then yeah, they go Oh, the silhouette, the, the shadow. Oh, it was gorgeous. Yeah. But in some of the pyro, the pyro sequence is a little different. But yeah, yeah. Because instead of him going boom, 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 boom. It's a little different. Oh, yeah, always, yeah, yeah. Was there always two Mickeys? I don't yes. Know. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They start just some imagination. Tall, and yeah. And then right before some imagination, they go bam. Now, yep. he's, not, now he's in his I, I heard you. I heard you were like, oh, I get it. But I'm like, that's the way they always did I it, babe. Well, they didn't. They didn't always the do the last. They didn't always do the last little sorcerer's apprentice couple notes. That's oh, okay. New. That is new. They're doing the last little bum, bum, bum. But there was bum, always the, the transition. Yeah. The quick transition. That was great. Well, I mean, it's several transitions. First, you go to Steamboat Willie on the Mark Twain. Yeah. And then from there, they transfer to Sorcerer on top, and then to Suit on the yeah. stage. <sighs> okay, I think we've covered it. Yep. Anything else? I, oh, no, one more thing. I, my water bottles. Open my one, first. my one big fear that I didn't want them to change was the uh, the Jungle Cruise. Or, I mean, the Jungle Book stuff. Put the dancing monkeys and right. Uh, and cough. Which they did change it. They changed it, but they are still present. Louie and the monkeys. Are I still think this dancing. was better. Again. Yeah, I liked it. Changed and better. Yeah, it did it. I liked it. Yeah. 
I think I, I think I preferred this because there was there was a different energy. It was it was a it, it, it was already energy. high energy. This was even like eleven yeah. on that. So well, I, that's I why you kind of need the quiet. That in the, that's why the show always right. has that slow down stage from princess. Yeah, yeah. Because if, if a show stays too high energy the whole time, you right. start to get bored. Yeah, yeah. That's why they have to go peak and then slow it down yeah, yeah. and then bring it back up. Yeah. Again. yeah. All right. Uh, hey guys, uh, we're here in uh, Critter Country. Do you want to go ride Winnie the Pooh? Let's do it. Let's, yeah. Let's go. Let's I was wondering, is, is Winnie the Pooh open? Uh, uh, yeah, it's open. Hey, but this is the first time we've walked through since all the tarps and art. And uh, Did, was, wasn't this? Yeah, but we haven't gone on here since then. Oh, so, that's right. right. All this is wide open now. Yeah, too. So we have all the tarps and yeah. scaffolding. So oh my it's gosh. It's pretty and open. Look at that. Winnie the Pooh has one of the best cues. In the park. Because it's amazing. It's, it's great. Just, it's just a garden spider. It's a very pretty garden spider. That's what I'm going to do. <sighs> this is the kind of queue that, that, that Tony Baxter would have designed. Yeah. Very Who, by the way, we saw at D23 today. Who, uh, did you tell Fresh Bake that I saw John Samuels again? It's been like years since I've seen him. Did I? Him. Well, I filmed it, yeah. They were there. <laughs> no, but you didn't feel me, me saying me saying hi to him. As if you like, were That's because I wasn't with you. You had ditched us. I know. I was trying to find some jewelry. What? Okay, Kubear, we're coming. Woo hoo hoo! She called it a honey bar. <laughs> oh my god. My sister's like, how are you guys still alive? <laughs> time when we got uh, preferred seating at Fantasmic because we went to a panel at D23 and then we saw the new Fantasmic show and it was amazing. For like perfect seating too. I know, right? That was like perfection, yeah, for sure. You know, being here tonight and watching that show and then watching some of the other stuff that we've seen tonight, it, uh, it gives you that like falling in love again with Disney feeling. Uh-huh. Like you want I, to go home and watch I, all the I, movies I, and I needed that. Yeah. I really needed I feel like Disneyland needed this. It I was like uh it can be just as like amazing as all yeah. the other other you know Disneyland. That's how I felt. When I when I was watching some of that stuff happening in Fantasmic tonight, that's what I was feeling was like like love, you know? Why this is why we why we love Disney. Because every now and then I get cynical and th doing things like a D23, I get cynical watching that panel, you know, yeah. you know yeah, what I mean? No, like, that's how I felt too. After the panel, I was, I was like, cynical. Okay, come on, Disneyland, I need it. Yeah. I was so... And it wasn't really anything that they did, it was just there were things that like upset us, you know, like the, the lack of Disneyland news coming out of that panel or, or the fact that Guardians of the Galaxy doesn't make any sense at Epcot whatsoever. Yeah, you can see that Imagineers are clearly trying to get actual Epcot yeah. stuff in there, like with the new yeah, yeah. for China. You know, and, just, the and the the new like like space restaurant. Yeah. I mean, space space like, restaurants cool. Like, clearly they're trying to get stuff in. It's just hard yeah. for them to get stuff budget wise past people who want the you know the hi higher management that wants yeah. brands. Yeah. But sometimes they already so it's like okay, I can tell you guys are trying. You want it in there as much yeah. as we do. Yeah. It's just it, you have you don't always you can't you have to say to make it happen. But that's why coming to the parks like this tonight it's thank you you know thank you Disneyland for restoring my 
you know, why, why it is that we love this so much. Is that the fan, Fantastic is just an awesome, awesome it show. It is arguably the best show they've ever created. But, you know, it was it's my favorite most before. Complex, but yeah. it, 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 again, it combines everything. Stage show, projections, yep. pyrotechnics. Yep. And it's so, it's, it, it was well written and yeah. well done. This is even more better, well written, it's well done. It's probably the biggest pain in the ass show for them too. Yeah, yeah, I bet. But it's, you get this one of the best shows. Twice ever. nightly at that. Yeah. Thrice for an hour. Yeah, we're going to try to do this three times a night, you guys. I think I got, forget how many weeks they're doing it for, but they're doing it towards the beginning just to help with the initial surge in demand for yep. it. And then it'll drop off back to just twice. Just yeah. two weeks, you guys. Just two weeks. Mark Twain, Columbia, the train. Canoes. The canoes. What else? It's everything's back. I mean, that's, that's the remaining stuff. That's back. it? That's yeah. all that's left? Yeah. Got Tom two on two more weeks, you guys. We just need the boats and the train. How many times am I going to ride the train the first day? Will it just be the one time? I think for show you'll force yourself to just do the one, but you'll want more. <laughs> We're going to ride it every week. <laughs> and uh, yeah, by the way, good night, guys. I hope you enjoyed our show this week. I know it's it, okay. I apologize in advance if this was a not not in advance. This is at the end. I'm apologizing at the end if this was a weirdly paced show because <laughs> it was a weirdly paced day. Uh, nothing happened for six hours, and then all kinds of stuff happened. So. Um, it was a, it'll be an interesting cut, uh, an interesting edit tomorrow morning as I start working on this. But thank you guys for watching. I, I, I still I hope you I hope you like that. I hope you like the E23 coverage. I hope you like what we did here at the park tonight. What a great ending to uh, to uh, to, a, to a day. I cannot believe this is all one day. We've just been yeah. this was all one day. Um, follow us, you guys, on Twitter. Fresh break this is fresh with no e on Instagram. Uh, fresh break and stuff. That's in not and. Uh, we are on uh, well, YouTube. Subscribe and follow on YouTube. Share with your friends on all the social media outlets, i.e. Facebook, Fresh Baked and Stuff, or Fresh Baked Disney. Uh, we have a website, freshbakeddisney.com. And uh, go find Laramie, who's doing like-minded things at Walt Disney World in Florida, where he's going to get to film all that new stuff that, that we're going to be getting. Once it's open. Once it's open in, in 1,100 years. Uh, go to Fresh Baked WDW to get our... Uh, our Disney World in Florida coverage on a weekly basis. And with that, uh, I bid you guys a good evening, and we'll see you next week. Fresh baked, guys. Fresh baked. Fresh baked? Fresh baked. Fresh baked. Fresh baked. There you go. <laughs>